So we can notate the probability of all three machines not working as the probability of not A and not B and not C. And the multiplication rule for independent events says we can just multiply the probability of not A times the probability of not B times the probability of not C. So to determine each of those probabilities, we just need to subtract each of the working probabilities from one. So we'll just add a column up here to our table. If the probability of copy machine A working is 0.72, then one minus that is 0.28. And we'll do that for the other two copiers. So now we'll copy these probabilities down to our product. And when we multiply these, we find out the probability of all three machines not working is 0 0.002688. Now in part B, there's this key phrase, at least one. Anytime you see at least one in a probability problem, it's probably best to approach it using the complement. So the probability that at least one is working is the same thing as one minus the probability of its complement. And the complement of at least one working is none of the machines working. So we can just do one minus the probability of none of the machines working. And we found that probability in part A. So we get one minus 0 0.002688. And we find out that the probability of at least one machine working is 0.997312. That's a high probability, so it's extremely likely at least one of the machines will be working at the office. Now a popular formula in probability is the general addition rule. So the probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So the probability that copier A works is 0.72. Add that to the probability that copier B works, 0.88. And we need to subtract out the probability that both copy machine A and B are working. And we can use the multiplication rule for independent events there. So the product of the two probabilities, which turns out to be 0.6336. So using our formula, we find out the probability of copier A or B working is 0.9664. So we're gonna find the probability that A is not working and B is not working and C is working. So the multiplication rule for independent events tells us that this just equals the probability of A not working times the probability of B not working times the probability of C working. So 0.28 times 0.12 times 0.92. So the probability of only copier C working is 0.030912. If you liked this video and you want to learn more about probability, especially if you're studying for the AP stats exam, check out this playlist. It covers many topics of probability that will help you for the exam.